This is a response to a, a video by Sam Harris as part of the TED Talk series, which is entitled Science Can Answer Moral Questions. And whilst I would agree with almost everything that Sam Harris says in the video, I don't think it really addresses the major question of that, or it doesn't address the title of the video itself, which is this claim that science can answer moral questions. And the reason why I say that is I think during the course of the video, there's a lot of slippage in the way that Sam Harris talks about morality. And I'm talking specifically about slippage between the term moral or morality and the phrase human values. I think he absolutely does talk about it in terms of human values and sets some criteria for what those values are, broadly utilitarian to do with the, um, the reduction of the total amount of human suffering and um, you know, with specific prohibitions against things like violence and... Um, and, uh, and prohibitions about inequalities, particularly inequalities between the genders. Uh, but those are human values, and that's uh, as, and to the, as far as it goes, that's absolutely fine. But there is a difference between human value and morality, at least in uh, in many of the ways that morality and morals are discussed. Morals, uh, um, at least notionally, have a, a wider remit. They have a wider field of application than just making choices about whether one uh, an action between uh, an interaction between human beings is 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 appropriate or not um, if I can just give an example of what I mean by that the the um, yeah actually I can just step aside step outside of that slightly to, to find an example I mean one of the uh, one of the, the ways that morality and science are often linked is through a linking uh, to do with empathy um, the, the, it, it's, it's well established that the humans have empathic relationships with one another and a lot of the human values, a lot of morality that you find within human values is based on that kind of empathy. We, um, we choose not to, to use corporal punishment against our children not only because it's, a, it's a, a terrible way of teaching anybody anything but also because we feel empathy for those children. We don't want them to suffer because we, we know what suffering is like and we want to minimise it. We, we know what inequality feels like so we feel an empathic relationship to women in oppressed in, in societies where, they are, uh, where their freedoms are restricted. And that's an empathic relationship. So, I can, so in a sense, there is a, um, a relationship between empathy and human value and empathy as a, as a, a kind of moral prerequisite uh, is found not just within humans, but is found within animals. But even within that example, human values has to be kind of prized apart from a more generic understanding of morality, even as it applies to something like empathy. So, for example, Franz Duval, who wrote quite a, a bit on, uh, on empathy in the animal kingdom, cites as one of his examples um, the empathy amongst rats, apparently within rat communities and within relatively limited um, circles of, of attention, particularly. You know, rats are quite empathic. So rats behave towards their neighbours and fellow members of their, uh, their family in ways which we would call empathic. So does that make a, a rat a moral creature? Does, do, do rats occupy moral space? And if they do, do they occupy the same moral space as humans do? If they do, then we should be empathic towards rats. We should apply um, uh, moral judgments towards rats in the same way that we do towards humans. But clearly we don't. We kill rats. We don't, and if we have to choose between the life of a human and the life of a rat, it's a no-brainer. In fact, in many cases, it's a moral obligation for us to take the lives of as many rats as humanly possible because the, uh, the survival value of a rat is, um, directly, is inversely proportional in many cases to the survival value of human populations. So to apply human values um, and to, to, um, to act according to human values means acting against the idea of a, of a universal morality which includes other species beyond humans. So you, ha you have to deny a certain branch of empathy in order to behave appropriately to other humans. Uh, so human value is not the same as morality, in, at least in that regard. Um, it, it, and, and I don't think it ever can be. I mean, the, the, the claims for a kind of totally objective, transcendent morality 
which is the kind of claim that science often makes. I'm not, I'm not transcendent, but but there are kind of ob absolutist and uh, objective uh, ambitions and ideals within science, and, and quite rightly so. And many and, and science does indeed, at least as far as I can see, does find those absolute claims. Um, I'm not convinced that um, that morality is going to be one of those, for the reasons I've already mentioned in the case of empathy. What it can perhaps do is establish objective human values, which is a much more modest and, in my opinion, more achievable aim. And uh, yeah, and and, and it's 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 it's, um, it's more appropriate to the task in hand. I think we are engaged in a in a in a process of trying to improve the lives of fellow humans primarily here whilst can whilst minimizing the suffering of other species um, but it's human values that are preeminent in sam harris's talk and in, a, in the construction of any kind of reasonable society i would contend thank you